taxi's waiting, he's blowing his horn. Oh, ready, I'm so lonesome, I could die. So kiss me and smile for me. Tell me that you'll wait for me. Off of the ground. It's just love the ground. Oh, wait, shit. Art tip. So when I color, I think of three different levels of detail. The first level is kind of hazy, it's blurry, it's not meant to really be stared at. It's just to create depth and that's how our eyes see the natural world anyway. The second layer is a bit more detailed but still blurry, it's more just to create that depth and more interesting look. And then the final layer is the more detailed stuff, the stuff you really get to shine on and work on and polish. And that's it! Red and goody down, they sir. Moga Munja, ya say something. Punigi got gum na sai. Yosin, you don't get you hanging da. Red and goody jammy, yo sir. Ah, Kugo nado machanga jay. Tell me what I got to do. Good pandero Bluetooth car. I'm a nora night and tro. I'm a gonna see nothing galo. I'm a rockin' and chum tro. I'm a rossia and a boy, yeah. Quick little tip, if you're working on some digital art and you got a lot of space to fill, lasso select the space then fill that in. Modify as needed. Keep doing that. And fill in larger spots of the brush. And it's all blocked out. I noticed that a lot of you were wondering how I color and blend my colored pencil drawings, so I'm here to show you how. I use this thing called a Prismacolor Colorless Blender, and it's just a colorless colored pencil essentially. And I lay down some colored pencil, and then I use that pencil to blend it. Here's the before, and here's the after. Hope this helped. What you're saying You're flying higher than a plane And I'm not complaining It's getting too loud We'll figure it out I'm out of my brain Art tips from someone who's paying $12,000 to learn how to do art good Are you bad at drawing backgrounds? Me too! 
Lock it in, all shitty, and blur it. Congratulations, you have a background and depth. How to stop being a perfectionist. So, in a recent video, I talked about how I'm not a perfectionist, and a lot of people said, well, that's easy for you to say, but I am a perfectionist. And I'll tell you my secret. I used to be a perfectionist. When I was in art school, I worked my face off because I was like, everything I make has to be perfect because I have to impress everyone around me or I'll fail as an artist and life as I know it will be over. And then I decided to make art for my enjoyment after I dropped out of art school. I was like, what if I just made art because it made me happy? Wild concept. And I wasn't trying to impress anyone and I was actually enjoying myself. And that's when I stopped being a perfectionist, when I stopped making art to impress people and when I realized that the stakes in art making aren't that high. If you make a bad painting, the world doesn't end. No one dies. It's actually really not that bad. Make a bad painting on purpose just to prove this to yourself. Tips for using colored pencils. If you notice your drawing's a little dull at an angle, that's called wax blooming and you can wipe it off with a tissue. Your hand's oils can smudge the colored pencils, so use a fluffy makeup brush to wipe away wax shavings instead. Instead of finding the perfect shade, mix colors. Always color in a circular motion to avoid streakiness. Always go lighter at the beginning and darker at the end because layering is really important. Using a marker base saves a lot of time. And make sure your pencils are sharp. Here are some tips for beginner artists. I know I'm not the best artist out there, but I'll give you some tips and tricks that I use. When coloring your drawing, I wouldn't use Crayola or Crazy Art because they don't blend as good as Prismacolor. I really highly recommend Prismacolor color pencils. When drawing fur on an animal, I would use an X-Acto knife or a sharp object. Obviously, I don't own an X-Acto knife, so I'm using a screwdriver. This helps you get really fine looking fur. When blending graphite, I'd use a brush instead of a blending stick because it makes your drawing less smudgy. Also, when coloring, make sure you move your pencil more in a circular motion. It helps you blend your drawing better than just moving your pencil up and down. And finally, I would recommend to buy a white gel pen. It helps you create more depth and highlights in your drawings. Thank you for watching. To draw a side profile, look in the mirror and realize you can't look at your own profile. Draw a circle. Now draw a line. Now draw a small circle. Now draw a line. Now draw another line, draw a triangle. Now connect this thing. Now draw a circle. Now draw a line and another line and another line and another line. Now zoom in. Now draw another line and another line. Draw a line here to here. Use this as a reference point. Draw a line, 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 outwards and draw a line. Now draw a straight line down or a curved one. Curved would be better. And draw a line and another line. Draw another line for the lid. Draw a check mark. Draw a line here. Draw a line here. And draw a line here. Draw a circle here. Half a circle or whatever, I guess. And make sure this doesn't go past this eye shape. So now trace it. Whatever hair you want and erase the back. There you have it.